Hey girlfriends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with a quick blow dry video for you. So I've already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair. Um, it's always very important that I deep condition with heat when I'm straightening or blow drying my hair. And I'm gonna do this in four sections. I don't want my hair to start drying and shrinking up. So I'm gonna be putting them in little Bantu knots in each section. I'm gonna do this each section one by one so that I make sure that it's dry properly and that the other parts of my hair does not start to dry because my hair does dry pretty quickly. I'm gonna be using the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil Sleek Me Blowout Lotion. I've used this pretty much every time I've blown out my hair, which is not very often. So I always have this on hand. I just love Lotta Body because I want body, I want shine, and I don't want my hair to just be a big poof when I blow dry it. So I'm gonna brush that through nice and evenly because we want all of our strands coated. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this section by section. So first, what I like to do is pull my hair nice and tight and have it pulled as tight as I can without losing grip. And then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on low and warm and just simply just go back and forth. I'm not gonna be raking through my hair just because for me, I feel like that causes unnecessary breakage. So this is gonna take you a little bit more time than you would if you had this on high heat and on high speed. So what I like to do is just simply go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the blow dryer. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and brush it through, letting that air kind of get through. And so I'm gonna do this multiple times. I'm not gonna do them at the same time. Just like I said before, I just don't want any unnecessary breakage. And I feel like that's where in the past I've come across breakage for me is when I got my blow drying and my flat ironing all in the same session. I feel like I achieved unnecessary breakage at that time. So I like doing this method because it's a safer way to blow out and stretch my hair for a style. I'm not doing this to get my hair flat ironed. I'm doing this so that my hair dries in a more stretched state versus just taking the blow dryer and blowing my hair dry as it shrinks up. It's gonna be defeat the purpose of trying to have a more stretched look for my style. This is a great technique to do for someone who may be transitioning and you do have that part where either you used to be relaxed or used to have a chemical treatment or the difference between the undamaged and freshly grown in hair, you don't want to suffer any unnecessary breakage at that point. So as you'll start to see, the more I brush through that your hair is gonna start to dry, but this is a great way just to have a stretched slate to begin with before you style your hair. This is a, for a lot of people who don't like doing wet sets, you don't like your hair to be shrunken before you uh, start your style, or if you just like a more loose stretch style, period. Um, this is a great way to start off without any unnecessary breakage. And I like the fact that when I pull my hair, it's kind of making it, you know, a lot more stretched than it would if you, like for me, if I just twisted my hair into twists and kind of let it air dry overnight, I still feel like it does still shrink up. And as you can see, the more I do this, it does take a little bit more time, but it's really not that time consuming. As you can see, my hair is starting to dry. And this is, again, like I said, on low heat, uh, a low speed on warm heat. So um, I'm gonna do this four times in each section and it's gonna give me a nice stretched state to begin with. I'm gonna keep saying that, but. This is how I do it. Um, you can do it any other way you'd like, but this I feel like prevents breakage for me and that's a big concern for me being a color natural. And the blowout lotion that I am using by Lotta Body, I've always used this. Um, it's a protectant as well as um, it gives my hair moisture, shine. As you can see, my hair looks like I blew it out like normal. And then what I'll do from here it's just simply twist it back up just because I don't want it to start shrinking up again, but I have a nice stretch state to begin with. So I'm gonna put that back into a Bantu knot and then repeat the same steps throughout my entire head. If you wanted more of a heavier cream to do this with, you're more than welcome to do that. But I chose a blowout cream just because I wanted a nice, soft, fluffy, hair to begin with because I like how my curl my hair takes curls a lot quicker 
with um, blown out hair without too much product on it so this is what I wanted to do and then if you check out the video where I set my hair you'll see that I only used a spray to set my hair which wasn't really a heavier product and it did not revert my hair back to the wet state but I love to start off with blown out hair that is more stretched than just blowing it out into a big fro if that makes sense so this is the method that i like to do as you can see my hair looks like an old flat iron or it was blown out really well so this is how my hair ended up when i styled it i'll have the link to the style for this video <laughs> at the end of this video but as always thank you so much for watching i hope i made this pretty self-explanatory if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i will get back to you as always make sure to share and like this video and if you don't follow me on instagram head over to jazz colored curls for more tips